up guys this is Fair Editing here this is a tutorial on how to make target lock on effects I've got two examples here this is two that I've made so it basically you have to use your imagination in order to create one of these um, yeah you can know how to make it but making it look good is something completely different I mean this is one that I made oh when I first started editing I don't really do many now but you know this is another basic one which you can make and I'll run through how to make them so let's start off with this one so you want to come to layer solid make a square 720 by 720 just change that to white just so I can see it and you can see it's a square click on the box select the ellipse tool double click and you have a perfect circle what you want to do is just size that down that would do then you want to do is click M click on this mask 1 click duplicate and on the mask 2 select subtract check the box and bring the expansion to about minus uh, I don't know we'll try minus 35 and as you can see we've got a nice white circle what you want to do is get a rectangle box, draw another mask to cut out the top side and side areas like I am doing now and check subtract on both of them and as you can see we've got a target sort of looking four piece circle and duplicate that make that smaller that shall do you can either keep the depth of these sectors going smaller and smaller as you zoom in or if you really wanted to make them bigger go to mask 2 and bring the expansion out a little bit more but I like keeping them as they are at default so what you want to do is you come back to the out one again, click duplicate, bring it in just a little bit more. We'll try 62, 62, uh, 61. That looks in the center, doesn't it? And just change the color. And I'll just make this a nice bright red, just so you can see. And again, duplicate that and make that smaller. And there we go, we have got our red and white circles. Now in order to make them rotate, you can have them all rotating in one way, but that won't look, uh, it depends on what you prefer. I prefer having them all going differently. Um, so you just want to click on the circle or selection, whichever one, and click R. Uh, bring up the rotation tool. If you hold Alt, go to rotation, type in wiggle, 0.4, comma, pick whip, no, no, sorry, don't pick whip, comma, and put 360. So it will be spinning as 360 at the speed of 0.4. And what you want to do is just copy them to all of them. And if I just preview now, all of them are at random. And it looks pretty nice. And then from then on, you can start adding glows to them. So if I pre compose this, go to stylize, glow. I can bring the radius out a bit. I can adjust the colors and make them look a little bit better. Add some color correction, it may look fine. And then for the this again make circles and mask them out it is a bit more complicated to make these shapes but there is actually a pack on my youtube channel called um, oh, seriously oh fucking hell Excuse my language. Um, here it is. Montage effects download pack. You can get um, 
a few targets in there. So, you know, they can give you a bit of a head start if you really needed to. But you just need to use your imagination and have fun with it, basically. So I hope this has helped. Comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.